Set. Hello, everybody, and welcome to New Life Plus. I'm your host, Eric Mayer. And I'm Tom. And today, we are doing episode one of the Super Power Showdown. So let's, just, let's explain this real quick. So we have a random... We found a superpower generator. generator on the internet. Because there's a random 32 superpowers, and we're putting them against each other. Um, so basic rules are we're... Assuming we're in a world that superpowers do exist, so other people do have superpowers. No need to hide them. About 50% of the population has it, just to make it, you know... Yeah, you don't have to be worried. It's like, um... It's kind of like, um... My Hero Academia. Okay. Where, like, powers are, like, most people have them, or, like, some people have them. So it's like, you're not trying to hide... You don't have to worry about using your powers to hide or whatever. And you're probably not going to become a superhero, we're no. assuming. No, probably not. You just prob- you probably just use it for your like daily job or for yeah. like recreation. I guess activities. you could use it to be a superhero if you wanted to. Yeah, but it'd be weird. It's like who's this guy in his underwear just trying to be like, oh, I'm super strong. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like in real life, superheroes are kind of like weird. It's like, oh, this guy's kind of like if you saw a guy just like punch through a wall and like I'm gonna arrest you, I'd be like, oh yeah, you're. People, I don't think everyone voice. would just be like, oh yeah, this guy's just a super good guy on our side. Let's worship him. I don't think real life would work like that. No. But, like, if everybody has superpowers, like, calm down, guy. We all, we all have superpowers. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, so we're not... It's not a simple, like, this power versus this power. Who would win in a fight? It's what's more useful overall is yeah. kind of what we're getting at. So it's not like, oh, if you have, like... We have some weird ones in here. We have, like, precognition versus um, hydrokinesis. So it's not like, oh, who's going to win in a one-on-one fight? It's like, what's more useful overall? Yeah. Cool. And we do have descriptors of a lot of these, because some of these are really <laughs> absolutely weird yeah, superpowers. No, but, I mean, it also gets us away from, like, the normal ones, like, strength, teleportation, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I think the only... We have in this list strength, invisibility, and super speed. But Those are the only ones that are, like, that you're like mainstream oh, yeah. superpowers. Or, like, a couple of the bending things. But, like, besides that... Yeah, a lot, a of, lot, of, them are, a lot are... of them are strange and kind of out there. But it's this, pretty cool. Yeah, it is kind of cool. We're going to do more episodes of this just because this web- website has hundreds of superpowers and they're all kind of wonky. Um, so I'm excited. Shall we get into it? Uh, yes. All right, so we're doing two 16-side brackets until we come down to the winner. Um, so we'll do one side, then we'll do the other, and we'll just work down to our uh, final, final semifinal. Final, 16, finally, whatever. Pretty straightforward bracket. We'll, we'll post in the actual YouTube video. We'll, do, we'll, we'll put something up like here so you can see it it could be over there too it could be literally like, literally yeah. anyway speaking of me and tom this wall is still blank but stay tuned we are going to do a paint along with bob ross to decorate this wall so and look commem- out for that and to commemorate the fact that bob ross is fantastic yeah tom we were at a halloween party last night and tom was bob ross and one of our friends was painting it was really funny <laughs> actually <laughs> oh you guys should have seen eric's costume it was, it was prime it was beautiful i'll I might post pictures. I don't think I took any pictures. I didn't take anything. It looks like we have to go get a costume again. No. No. I don't have the... I left the wings and stuff at Michael's house. I should give you a hint, you guys. (laughs) The wings were involved. Um, Actually, Abby might have a picture. I didn't get a picture. I'm super super sad about that. I mean, you still have yours. You can just put it on. It was pretty easy. Anyway, let's get down to it. So. Let's go. Round one. Round one. Energy blasts. Which is ability to expel various forms of energy from the body. Okay. Okay. And then we have energy constructs, which is the ability to create or create complex shapes such as giant boxes, gloves, or cages, or even functional machinery such as fire extinguishers or laser rifles out of solid energy. It's weird. Okay. That's uh, kind of all right. Initial thoughts for me for this one is I like energy constructs better. You no, know, that one makes sense. It has a lot more versatility. Because I'm picturing the energy blasts kind of like Iron Man gloves. What did Iron Man gloves do? You know, he like shoots the... It's like pulses of energy. Yeah, no, uh, that's like, what I'm thinking. That's what I'm picturing. I'm not picturing it's like taking a form of like fire or anything like that. It's no, that's pure like, energy yeah, blasts. Yeah, like fire blasts would be a completely different thing in that, situ- in that sense. Yeah, but the energy constructs here at least makes it sound like you're using pure energy to create... Like different, uh, different not items, but different objects. Yeah, it, it almost looks like you're using your matter reconstruction is really what it sounds like. 
You're taking pure energy and forming it into matter. Would it, but would it be like in the shape of like, if I was like, oh, let's take the energy out of this wood, would it turn into like a wood object or would it turn into like, like a solid piece? I don't know. Okay, so what, what would it look like? For centuries. Out of solid energy. What does that imply? That is solid. Like, <clears throat> the way it sounds to me is like you're pulling energy out of the air or out of something else and moving it. So maybe it's like, oh, this has kinetic, because technically everything has kinetic energy. Or it's got... Potential? Potential energy, not kinetic energy, sorry. Um, so I guess you're like pulling the energy out of things and turning into other things. But would that make this rot? I assume, because I mean, conservation of energy, you're... And you can't just create more energy. So like this would be destroyed or turned into something else is what it sounds like. To me, it was more like I'd, I'd take like the air energy, the energy from the air, or like, um, and just make like you don't see it, but you can feel it, sort of thing. Like yeah, say I had my fist, it it, and I was like, oh, as it says right here, like in the form of a giant boxing glove, there'd be like a giant encasing of air that feels solid, is what I'm imagining. Yeah, no, I think uh, the way it sounds is you can do it out of really kind of anything. Um. So either way, I'm going to call that one the winner. Yeah, no. Just, they, uh, I don't see any reason why energy blasts would be better than constructing things out of energy. Unless you're like... Even in a fight. Oh, in a fight? Being able to manipulate energy and just do whatever you want with it rather than just shoot it out of your hands, that's just straight better. Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Just like, oh, you want to fight? Oh, let's just drop this giant energy anvil on your head. Yeah. What are you going to do, blast it away? Well, I'm assuming you have to touch it, but still like, oh, I can create these massive walls that... Even, whatever. Or, like, a suit of armor. Because it says you can do, like, giant boxing gloves. Yeah. You can make a laser rifle. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> it literally says laser rifle. Okay. So, yeah, I'm saying energy construction. Yeah, no. That was not difficult. But now we get into a, another one. Round. Right. Round two. We've got psychic weapons. The ability to create weapon of psychic energy that can harm mentally and not physically. Oh, so it's like a uh, side lance from Dungeons & Dragons kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So, and against it is elasticity, the ability to stretch, deform, expand, or contract one's body into any form imaginable. So that's just straight Mr. Fantastic. Yeah. Right from Fantastic Four. Um, or Mrs. Incredible. Mrs. Incredible. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tom. <laughs> um, what is wrong with you? <laughs> yeah, what's wrong with me? That's the real question. What's wrong with you? Um, what's... I'm going to go with elasticity on this one. Yeah, psychic weapons. Anything that's purely offensive just doesn't doesn't sound useful. Like, if you're going to be fighting crime, yeah, things like psychic weapons, sure, you can, like, detain... You'd be a great cop. But, like... Yeah, no. You just drive people insane, I guess. Yeah, but <laughs> elasticity, you'd also make a great cop. But also, you can... Use it in real life and actually, so like, like... I'm thinking function. of it like this. If, if I have elasticity and I'm, like, say, climbing a building, that'd be really helpful to go extra couple inches. Yeah, or literally just stand at the bottom of the building and reach your arm up. Yeah, no, that works To do too. whatever you want. Yeah. And just and make, make slingshots out of your well, the I think what's really going to happen in this is what has more um, applications to it. Because something like elasticity, you can get so creative with it. Like, you could... I don't know, you could open doors from the other side. Like, you could slip your hand through the underside of doors and make them open the other side. You could... So you have a bowling ball, you just, like, push it down into your body, and yeah. then you just, like, pew, people with it. You could skydive and make yourself a parachute. Yeah. And say someone's shooting at you with a psychic gun, or, like, has a psychic sword and is trying to attack you with that, what are you going to do? Oh, I'm just going to bend my shape so then you can... So it just goes through me. Yeah, exactly. So you're... And also, I feel like if you're hit with something... Like, if you were actually in a fight, if you're physically getting hit by something, you can just, like, your body would absorb it. Yeah. Rather than you taking the impact because the squish factor. Elasticity. 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 Boom. Easy. Peasy. Let me. Squeezy. All right. Next up, we have precognition versus hydrokinesis. Precognition. The ability to perceive the future. It may be expressed in various streams while asleep. Other times, it can be clear and can occur at will. <laughs> it may be used as a form of danger <laughs> sense, spidey senses, to show the user that they are being threatened and from what direction it is coming from. Hydrokinesis, ability to control, generate, or absorb water and moisture. 
Oh, control, generate, and absorb. That's pretty cool. That's really cool. All right. Precognition. How much <clears throat> danger are you going to be in in real life? Well, not even... Is it looking... Uh, is it looking for exclusively danger? Clear and uh, Oh, it can be used as a danger sense. Oh, okay. So okay. it's kind of like spidey senses. Yeah. But it's also like... You, your dreams are going to happen, kind of? Yeah, you're kind of like predicting the future. I mean, if it gives me the, the, the lottery numbers... <laughs> That's actually a super good point. <laughs> <laughs> you would be so rich so quickly. But hydrokinesis, you can generate water. Think about the applications with that. Say That's cool. Say you have a farm and you're like... Damn. Immediately, what I would prefer is hydrokinesis. No questions asked. Oh, yeah. Like, I, like to be able to manipulate, create, and absorb, even absorb water and moisture. That's kind of interesting. So, could you, like, like pull I've... water out of anything and just, like, hold it in your body? I would think so. Like, I feel like cool. you'd be, like, a sponge sort of thing. <laughs> just literally turn into SpongeBob. <laughs> <laughs> Get the goofy laugh and everything. <laughs> I'm ready. I'm, I'm ready. ready. Yeah, right. I'm ready. <laughs> so, um, precognition, though, you literally... I mean, you know what's going to happen all the time, right? Because I'm assuming you can control it. It may be expressed in vague dreams while also asleep, or other times it could be clear, clear or a world, uh, and occur at will. will. Okay. You'd be a great fortune teller. I mean, you would literally be a fortune teller. Got him. <laughs> this is the first hard one. Or harder one that I've come up that has popped up. Yeah, because neither because yeah, hydrokinesis you could use it in a combat sense, but there's so many applications. Oh yeah, like think about it. We could terraform uh, Mars or the Moon with that. Actually, you could yeah. because you could generate it. I think I don't know what you generate it from. It, it just says generate. You could you probably like turn other energy. You would probably like turn energy into water. It'd, it'd kind of be like the energy take, construction. Take all the but, oxygen and then just like combine it with some yeah, hydrogen. All the oxygen on Mars. Like you just bring <laughs> your own oxygen. What do you think we're doing? Anyway? You, you'd probably like take the molecules out of whatever system you're working in and True. create water out of it. So there would be a loss, but I mean, whatever. Like, no, I agree with that. Like normally in the air, there is water in the air. Like if you're on Earth, so you could just literally pull it out of thin air. That's what humidity is. Exactly. I'm knowledgeable. <laughs> Science! Um... <laughs> Um, what do you, I'm thinking hydrokinesis on this one. First of all, I don't want to know what happens all the time. Yeah. It'd be cool to win the lottery a few times, but after that, I feel like it'd just be depressing. Kind of. I don't know. Hydrokinesis, I think, has to be the winner for me, too. Yes, precognition is cool, but... Mm. It's not, it's not as useful, I don't think. Like, sure, you know what's going to happen, but it goes back to that thing. It's like, if you already know what's going to happen, can you change it? I assume you could. Like, I don't know. It, it or, does, or does you trying to change it make it happen? I feel like precognition is kind of like a selfish one. And hydrokinesis is more like you could do more for the, for the world. Because if you're like taking the test and you're like, precognition, hmm, is, is there danger answering the, putting this answer down? Yeah, no, I'm going to get yeah, that you'd wrong. You'd be able to I fake do. your way through a lot with precognition. Yeah. Like, you wouldn't have to be intelligent to be perceived as intelligent. True. Like, it'd be very easy to, like, passing tests would be so easy. Going to the stock market, you're like, oh, yes, this is a, this is all planned out. Yeah, exactly. Actually, even tests wouldn't be so easy. Unless you could, like, sit there while you're taking the test and, like, look forward to when you get the test back, like, what the correct answers are. But it says you can use it at will. Oh, yeah, it says it can be used at will. So, yeah. So, things like that would be super easy for it. And obviously, like, winning the lottery, that sort of thing. But. I don't know. Hydrokinesis, I feel like, has more global applications and more like yeah, it's it's I, I like hydrokinesis i'm 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 gonna go with it yeah precognition just cool. it, do, it, do, it is cool you know like I've, i would take it um, especially if you can turn it off like if you don't have to see what's coming next like oh yeah and choose to then it's good but then again in your day-to-day -day life how frequently do you need to look ahead in time like i would use hydrokinesis so much more frequently uh, it literally every single day. <laughs> true. True. I don't know. I feel like precognition is like the easy way, but if it's the easy way, then you just, then I should win. I don't want it to win. It's like... I, I don't like it. I, yeah, no, it's like, I know it would win, but I don't want it to win, is what I'm trying to say. I, I, see, this is difficult. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> see, no, but I, I'm, I seriously think hydrokinesis is better, practically. Oh, yeah. 
because it's just you can do things like water has so many applications in and of itself. Like in real life, water. He'd be great firefighters. Yeah, but in precognition, just it feels like you'd always be on edge. Yeah, it's and it's also a great way to like you. I feel like you'd be driven by the fact that you had seen the future, and now you need to like adhere shape your to reality it or try to fix around it. Yeah. So I feel like there's a lot of ways to get in trouble with precognition. Danger is my middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm voting Hydrokinesis. Okay, that's fair. Alright. Okay. Next, we have fire breathing versus or ability to generate gases from the body and exhale fire from the mouth. Or spiritual mediumship, which is the ability to see and communicate with the dead. First of all, fire breathing, badass. I, of course. Of and course. That's one of those ones that it's like, you take it because it's a coolness factor. Oh, I need to light up a smoke? Mm-hmm. There we go. Yeah. But I mean, also like spiritual mediumship, like fire breathing. I mean, my first thought for fire breathing is like, oh, it's so. I mean, I guess it does have some practical applications, like in survival instances. Like you can breathe fire, you have heat, you're gonna live. Um, spiritual mediumship. I feel like it's... how frequently do you need to talk to dead people? Uh, just imagine being like, oh, yo, there's George Washington. Let's see what his life was like. You'd be a great history and biographer. And you can learn so much about the past. I guess, but, like, can you just, like, pick who you're going to talk to, or... I don't know how that would work, though. There was a TV show called Medium a while ago. I never watched it, but I know. But she did it, like, as a crime-fighting thing, I want to say. Like I said, I never saw the show, so... I mean, if you, if, you, if you talk to people that are dead at, like, the scene of a crime, you could be like, so who killed you? Oh. Yeah, I feel like for that application, it's really good. Um, but just in, like, your day-to-day life... How many spirits are you going to come across? There's a lot of dead people. There are a lot of dead people, but... They might I get guess lonely. it... Like, it's got to have its limitations, right? If someone's been dead for a hundred years, can you still talk to their spirit? You know... I don't know. Just imagine... Like, like that, that description's very vague. You need, like, a really solid description of what it does. Like, fire breathing's so straightforward. You can breathe fire. Yeah. We're going to get to this one, Eric, and that one's going to be... Yeah, the, the next the next bracket's going to be interesting to figure out. Yeah, but I don't know. I Honestly, I'm going to go with spiritual mediumship. I would. Yeah, I mean... Being, being able to talk as to, like... As cool as fire breathing is, it's very one-dimensional. Spiritual mediumship, it has its merits. But again, what are you going to use it for? Hmm... That's my thing. It's like, okay, I can talk spirits. What am I using it for? If you want, you can help people talk to their grandparents with, after they died or something like that. Or you can see, like, go to the past. Maybe you have to go to where that body is or, like, where the body's tied to. Yeah, I assume you can't just, like, up and just pull. Up. Like, I can't just be sitting here and, like, oh, hello, George Washington. That unless you think, like, unless you pull can, him unless out of Unless you nowhere. try really, really hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you really got to think about it. Um, we can find Amelia Earhart. But, I've, I, again, I think you'd have to have, like, something connected to them. Yeah, no. That'd be pretty cool, though. It would be cool. I'm, I'm gonna have to agree with you, because fire breathing is very one-dimensional. I love you, fire. It's one of those things. It's it's just, like... It's you, cool. It's cool, but you're not gonna use it for anything. Yeah. Like, you are gonna you can use it to intimidate people, I guess. You can use it to I, that would start be really, a that'd fire, be really scary. but that's really it. So, spiritual manipulation, it is. So, <laughs> this next one, omnipresence, the ability to be present anywhere and everywhere simultaneously. Versus sonic scream, ability, ability to generate vocal sounds of a higher amplitude than a normal human. Okay, so, omnipresence, I see it very much as, like, an intelligence gathering thing. Yeah, but, like... What does it mean to be omnipresent? <laughs> like, <laughs> wait, you're I... literally a god. <laughs> like, in the sense that it's like, you know what's happening everywhere at the same time. But what can you like... interact with anything at the same time? Like, am I physically there? Or am I just like, yeah, I'm there in spirit. Well, because way... it's listed here, ability to be present anywhere and everywhere simultaneously. So you can be in two places at the same time. And be the what it sounds like is you can be interacting with those places. That's no. That 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 just wins then. That just wins no matter what you say. <laughs> that, that's just like <laughs> it's true. I'm literally everywhere and anything. Oh, Eric! Hi! 
And then just like the other part of me is just like behind your head. Or, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, no, like it doesn't make sense. I think the whole idea of omnipresence is like can it's I, it's a it's a very like godly quality. Like you you can let me omnipresence. Let's, let's, let's get like a solid definition. Uh, the state of being widespread or constantly encountered, wonderful. Or the presence of God everywhere at the same time. Well, you are a God. Yes. <laughs> so, omnipresence wins. All right. <laughs> Let's... <laughs> I, I, I honestly barely realized that was on this list. Um, I'm going to pick it... Let's edit this one a little bit. To make it less broken. Because literally being God... You just you're, just you're just God. Yeah. I'm going to say it's the ability to, like... You can you, you can, can be in place, but you can't interact with anything. Yeah. So it's like I can know what's going on in all these places, which is still really strong. I do. It's being better of, than Sonic Sound. <laughs> I'm picturing it kind of like um, Professor X's like Cerebro thing, where you just know everything. Yeah, he can kind of like interact through minds across the world. That makes more sense. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, either way, it's better than Sonic Scream. Oh yeah. Sonic Street, sorry, like, like, it'd be cool to break windows and, like... Yeah, like, you're yelling at people, people aggressively, but you'd with, yeah. be the most obnoxious person ever. You haven't met me. <laughs> <laughs> Just give him a solid... Well, solid yell. Uh, <laughs> I think this one's easy. Like, if we take omnipresence as what it actually is, then... It just wins the whole thing. broken I mean. anyway. Yeah. But if we're gonna take it as just, like, you know all... Then it's, it's still, still really, it's still much stronger than Sonic Scream. <laughs> well, we might have to go come up with the second. <laughs> okay, well, when we come back to that next one, we'll see. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Okay, all right. <laughs> next one. We have Wait, air. No, 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 no. Time out. I think I messed up on that. Well, this one. Over here. So it's that's what I have written. You do? Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yeah, we're good. All right. So next one we have. Um, air and wind manipulation, which is the ability to control, generate, or absorb air or wind. So it's kind of like the hydrokinesis, but for air. Okay. Um, and, and then ecological empathy, the ability to sense the overall well-being and conditions of one's immediate environment and natural setting, stemming from um, psychic sensitivity to nature. Airbender. Airbender. You are A. Yes. You can, you can make air do things. Or you can be a druid. Honestly, we've talked about bending of elements on the podcast before and it's so good yes oh i agree 100 percent. it's like it's one of the because there's so many applications for it versatility is key in yeah. a lot of things be, it's just like just thinking being able to manipulate the air you can make yourself lighter you can make yourself fly probably yeah i would say i would imagine that you can be a dope kite flyer <laughs> 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 Um, uh, but, you can make airplanes fly, fly faster. Yeah, you but know. I mean, you could also use air as a tool so, at that point. You can create. You can power up solar farms or wind farms. I should you say power wind farms. You could probably like if you can really use it as like controlling the weather by blowing clouds away. Yeah, or even just like condense air because the way it's written, it makes it sound like you have full control over air. So you can condense it and use it like actually as tools. Like you use it to cut things. You could use it to hammer things. That's a really good application. I didn't think of that. Yeah. And, then, and so, then you can make your own um, really, really powerful uh, fire extinguisher with that. Just, like, yeah, just the literally suffocate. You can create vacuums. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Huh. You could probably create atmosphere. Well, hydrokinesis and air and wind manipulation combined to terraform Mars. Yeah. Well, that'd creating, be cool. I feel like... I'm, be able to create an atmosphere if you need. What else do you need? Well, Light? I don't, I'm not, I'm not like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know you, enough you got about energy? natural sciences you, to answer you, that question dude, or figure that out. you got energy, you got air, you got water. What yeah. else do you need? Food? Well, we can eat the Mars food. people. Wait, what? Because atmosphere. That's, 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 that's Science. not good enough. Science, <laughs> okay. But that over ecological empathy, you okay. literally just know what's going on with plants. Uh, the ones in the environment, now the settings. Uh, you can't even wow. manipulate them. You just know what's going. Like you feel the, what plants feel. You can tell if there's danger around. I guess, but does a plant tell you conceive of danger? It could be windy. Like, 
the intel like sure plants are cool, but like they're not intelligent. You can tell the environment of squirrels. There's the ability to sense the overall well being and condition of one's immediate environment. You'd be a great gardener. Yeah, no, fair enough. Soil is too acidic, let's put some base base up in there. Yeah, right. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. I, I think, air I think, and wind is just better. Yep. I think. <laughs> this one's pretty cool. We got... I like this one. This, this one's really cool. This is a tough you, one. You go ahead and read it. We got aportation. The ability to undergo materialization, disappearance, or teleportation of an object versus molecular manipulation, which is the ability to mentally manipulate the molecules of objects or oneself on a molecular level. That's cool. Yeah. Both of these are super cool. Yes. So aportation is literally, you can teleport objects, you can make them come to you. So it's like summoning them. And you can make them disappear at will. Yeah. That's really cool. It's so cool. And there are so many applications for that one. Like, out of the entire list we've seen so far, that's my favorite. And it's not like... You you can't do it to yourself, which makes it a little bit more like... Yeah, I don't think you can teleport yourself. No. But, but of that, an object. So I'm assuming non-living. Yes. But, like, still, it's really really cool it's so cool because you could you never need a backpack because everything would always be at your disposal yeah you could you wouldn't have to be able, like oh i forgot something upstairs wait never oh, mind it's in my hand oh you need that giant boulder moved i got you boom disappeared yeah or what? like just teleport it oh yeah just like you'd be a good ass builder like you get shit done yeah imagine how many legos you'd have too <laughs> just popping Legos everywhere. <laughs> you also have so much money because you could just take it from wherever. That's stealing. And stealing, <laughs> That's stealing but you could just take it from wherever. True. Yeah. Um, molecular manipulation, though, um, ability to man mentally manipulate the molecules and object oneself on a molecular level. Would it be on other people too? Or is object, you could be liquid objects or oneself. You could be liquid. Yeah. And you could be a gas, but you could be the liquid and make liquid hamsters. <laughs> you could make <laughs> liquid hamsters. It's so good. Um, there's a lot you could do with that, too. There is. that. See, that one's really cool because molecules. I mean, molecules is not just... If you want, you can pull out all the gold molecules from, like, all the rocks you want and just be like, no, I just have a solid chunk of gold right yeah. here. You could also, like, pass through objects. You could. Because you just line your molecules up correctly. You could literally pass through objects. That's actually a really good application. I didn't think of that. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to, you could um, you could create diamonds. Because instead of having to like wait all the time for them to compress, you're like, okay, your, your, your molecules are just going to be compressed super hard. Now you're a diamond. Piece of coal. Yeah, actually, I guess. Because you, you just... Because you, you're literally recreating the structure of whatever you're using. Yeah. So as long as the base elements are there, you can make whatever you want. You'd be the best chemistry person in the world. Yeah. And I... Well, even from, like, a medical standpoint, you could just, like, destroy cancer cells. Easy. Um... I would... No. I think maybe not easy, easy, but I feel like... No, I feel like it's different in a way. Because oh, maybe. Molecu molecular, I'm thinking, like, smaller than cells. Yeah. But, I mean, you could change the entire structure of them. True. Form a... I mean, it'd be super complex. Cause apoptosis within the cells somehow, and then they're just like, well, you can't have any more cancer if you have no more cancer cells. Yeah. There we go. So, I mean, that I feel like that'd be one where you'd have to be so intelligent to use it well. But if you have the, if you have the ideas of what you want to do, it's yeah. really strong. And assuming you can, like, tell what... Could you fix is. people's, like, mixing body parts? Because you can just stitch together the molecules again. Yeah. No, you'd be a hell of a doctor. Could you... Because you could literally create anything, right? Yeah. You could turn if you have, like I said, if you have the base elements there, you can you can form make it anything. To anything you want. Yeah. So it's like I could take this coffee cup. Actually, it's probably not enough. Maybe there would be. I mean, you could like just pull all the carbon out of it and just make a really small, like a small diamond. Yeah. No, you could. Yeah. And then whatever else is in the coffee. It'd probably just like. Dissipate, but then you'd be like, whatever. Yeah. Didn't need the rest of it. That'd be really cool. That would be really like these are this is a super close one. 
Yeah, because importation, you're like, yeah, I can just make it. But with the, yeah, with, importation, you can make it up here. But manip the being out because you can. Oh god, it's so it, good. I, the thing is, is it's one of those where it's like selfish versus to the world benefit thing. Because yeah, importation is more selfish, but it's really really cool. But it's really cool, and you could have non selfish applications. Oh, of okay. course, yeah. Oh gosh, this is a tough one. Which one only win in the fight? <laughs> <laughs> See, that's the thing, though. You, you can teleport stuff to, like, hit people. It, I, that would be so purely skill-based, that fight. Yeah, because... To, again, because at once any point, you're just, like, liquid. I don't get hit by it. Yeah, but then they're, you're also, like... Liquid. Why <laughs> 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 you're liquid at the same time? <laughs> okay. Well... Huh. That's really hard. What? Because after top... Going into it, I was like, importation is better. Like, importation is cooler. You can do more stuff with it. But then when you really think about the molecular manipulation, the ability to just create anything and transform elements into whatever you want is insane. Could, could you be able to add more electrons or subtract electrons too? Because that'd be kind of stupid. I assume. And add more protons? Yeah. I'm going to go... Okay, then personally, I'm going to go with molecular manipulation. I'd go super hard in Because well, even just power consumption, like... Things like creating nuclear energy, say. The reason it's so difficult is because to actually create the correct ions to make it work is ex extremely, expensive. extremely expensive and extremely difficult. Um, but then you're just like, oh, But if you could just, just do it without any... You, you're just like, okay, you're what I need. That'd be insane. I think we have our answer. Yeah. That's so good. Molecular manipulation. Yeah, let's do it. I, 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 that came in as the underdog for me, but. I mean, aportation is freaking awesome. Aport, aportation is so cool. Like, if I were to have to choose between the two, what would I would want? I would probably choose aportation. Personally. Actually, even, I don't know, though. <laughs> okay. I, but I, if I had to get, if I had to pick one of those, I would not be sad with either choice. No, would, absolutely not. I think those are probably some of the best two on this list. Hands down, hundred percent. Actually, I don't know. There's a lot of cool ones on the rest of well, the list. This, we're about halfway through. Yeah, there are some cool ones. Omnipresence, obviously. Oh, it's <laughs> so <know>? cool. <laughs> is that you're one actually omnipresent. <laughs> that one I don't like because it's too good. It, it is. It is too good. We'll, we'll have to think. Well, I, I like it more as a you can know all things. It's still too good. It's still really good. <laughs> but even so, manipulation manipulation against that. That's a good sure, one. Sure, you know everything, but, like... Are, are, do you know everything enough to make me want to... But I, you might know everything, but I can create anything. That's fair. Oh, I, we have to continue. We're not there yet. Yeah, we're not there yet. We're not Those there yet. Those will meet eventually if they both go forward. Dude. All right, I'm going with manip manipulation, because I could... We could probably talk about this one for an hour in itself. And yeah. You know... We should. <laughs> <laughs> Just talk about how good this is. All right, let's move on. Uh, we have... Um, I can't read my handwriting. This one. Psychic surgery. This one's interesting. The ability to remove, remove disease or disorder within or over the body tissue via an energetic insertion that heals immediately afterwards. Versus power negation. Ability to cancel out the superpowers of others. <laughs> okay. So the only reason power negation is okay is because we're assuming there's a world with other superheroes. Yes. But it's purely... To fight other superheroes. To fight other superheroes. That's the only application. Which, if you want to be a bounty hunter, fantastic. Or if you want to be an assassin. Yeah. Good on you. But I mean, psychic surgery. Oh, dude, the greatest just doctor the in the world. best doctor ever. Except if you have manipula manipulation. Then, yeah... Because then you're literally just doing that. But it's I think, the same I mean, between these two, psychic surgery is better. Yeah. No. Like, power negation is cool if you're, like, fighting other superheroes. Or superpowered people. Yeah, but I, so but if, if people are going to be cohesive in the world, then it's like, you don't need it. Yeah. Cool. Easy peasy. All right, that's halfway through. What Next is, side. We got reactive adaptation slash evolution, which is the ability to develop a resistance or immunity to whatever they were injured by or exposed to. This effect can be temp permanent or temporary. Versus superhuman strength. The ability to have a level of strength much higher than normal, possibly given their proportions. So you're super strong. 
Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. I like the reactive adaptation one. I do too. Because it's basically just a better immune system, right? Because it's physical as well. Yeah. And your bio are exposed to. And imagine just being able to go through any terrain in the world because you're like, oh. Well, yeah, because every time you get hurt, your body would adapt and become more resistant to being hurt. So just think of all the little times you've gotten, like, bruised or cut. Like, each one of those make you more resistant to being bruised or cut. Or, like, breaking a limb or whatever. I'd have really thick skin. Yeah, or every time you get sick, it's like, yeah, your immune system is powerful mm-hmm. anyway, but it's like, it'd just be even, even more powerful. powerful. True. And imagine just, and if somebody with super strength hits you, you're like, oh, that really freaking hurt. But then you're like, oh, wait. Next time it's going to hurt less. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. Um, but superhuman strength. It's really, ap- obviously really has a lot of applications. Um, it's one of those ones you have to be careful with, though, because it's really easy to abuse and break. To break things. Yeah. Just like holding up my coffee cup. Oh, let me just take a sip when I'm a little bit angry. <laughs> Everything yeah. just cracks. Yeah, flesh I don't angry. like superhuman strength because of things like that. Like, you have to be always in perfect control. Of your power. To be able to use it effectively. Yeah. Because um, I'm assuming you just have it. You can't, It's not like a turn on, turn off thing. But then again, you, you, when you touch things, you, you have like a general understanding of how Yeah, you learn the control. Because say you like grew up with it, you'd learn to like not crush somebody's explode hand. Explode this pen. Hand. Yeah. Or whatever. But like when even if you're like if, even when you're holding a baby, you're not going to be like Ugh! in real life. But, yeah. But when you're like trying to squeeze the living breath out of somebody because you're giving them a great hug. <laughs> <laughs> um. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like you have a general. Yeah, the reactive one is very you are. selfish, but you'd also like become super cool. True. Be, because you just be, be experimenting on. I feel like though. A lot. Well, we're assuming this is a world where all people have powers, or a lot of people have powers. So I'm assuming. True. So like, I mean, if you had any of these in this world, you'd be experimented on regardless. Fair, 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 fair. So I mean, um, I, I don't know. I think superhuman strength is better. Yeah, I think it's more applicable. Yeah. Like, because how frequently are you? Do you need to not to like adapt to things that you can already adapt to? Yeah. I mean, in your day to day life, what are you going to encounter that would make that more useful than um, you're just? The, the radio waves that the aliens are sending? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> so in, in, like, certain situations, yeah. But the, be cool. in the majority of situations... Yeah, but day-to-day, you're using superhuman strength more. Like, yeah. much more. So I'm going strength. <sighs> okay. Oh, look at those muscles. <laughs> Thank you. I, you noticed. All right. This next one. This is just better reactive at a because it's invulnerability oh yeah um, ability be, to be immune to one or more forms of physical mental and spiritual <laughs> damage and influence you're invulnerable and versus makes sense. astral projection <laughs> the ability to voluntarily project the astral body consciousness being associated with out-of-body experience in which the astral body becomes separated from the physical body that's just really cool that is cool but it's just worse Omnipresence. omnipresence. You see, that's what omnipresence should be. <laughs> yeah, that like that's just omnipresence, like in a fixed version, in a very like minimal version. Yeah, and vulnerability is so good. How often are you gonna get beat up? Never if you're invulnerable. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be the best soldier ever. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you would. Yeah, like you, you'd be one man army. No, I don't have that perk yet. No, oh, yeah, Call of Duty. <laughs> Follow up. Fallout 76 is coming out in like a few days. I'm so excited. Did you, did you pre-order? I did not pre-order. I'm just going to buy it. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, astral projection is cool. You Purely see, for like if you're a spy. Or you're true. like trying to be sneaky. I like being spy. <laughs> but that's just personal. I th- but if you're vulnerable, you don't need to be a spy. You just walk into the room and they can't do anything about it true <laughs> like you could also go to like a volcano or something and be like oh this is what it's like the, the, in the center you'd be yeah. a great researcher and a great explorer you belong in a museum um, <laughs> like, I'm assuming you can die from old age yeah no I, I feel like well physical damage aging is technically physical damage no we're gonna go with you can die of old age okay yeah no because we don't want because then I'd just be living forever and I'd pick that one in a heartbeat yeah I mean th- things like that are so strong I'm assuming you can die yeah, age, things like that, but like physically, mentally, and spiritual damage. 
you're just, you're just, you don't, you're just, don't get hurt. You're a thick boy. Um, but I mean, over astral projection, I got to give it to invulnerability. Okay, I could I see how invulnerability wins, but I personally personally I would just be like give me astral projection because I think it's cool. But invulnerability well, is mind. a stronger one. Why do you like astral projection, Barb? Because I can be in two places at once, and then but I you can... can't because because all your attention is now on your like floating ghosty self. Uh, imagine when you're sleeping, you don't have to be asleep. You could just be like, ah, can't do anything productive now. Let me just go out into the real world, or like, I don't know, or say when you're um. You, you want to hear you want to hear some spy things. You're in the other room, and people don't even know you're there. So you're like, got all your secrets. Yeah, I, again, it's a very much it's, it's a spy tool. That is what I see it as. I want to be a spy. <laughs> <laughs> there's there's no hiding the fact that yeah. I want to be a spy. <laughs> no, I just think it's, I think personally, it's just be like, no, yeah. I, I see where you like it, but I personally I like invulnerability more. No, I see why invulnerability is stronger for sure. Okay. Yeah, we're, we're doing that one. Yeah, but again, it's just a preference thing. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I see the application for astral projection, um, but it, vulnerability, you're, just, you're invulnerable. Just, just you, can't, you can't say no go, to that. Going to the Oval Office just all the time, being like, huh. Just listening to the president. Yeah, no, why not? I mean, yeah. I mean, you'd learn a lot. Or would I not learn anything? I don't know yet. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, right. All right, next bracket. We have... Power um, bestow. Power bestow. The ability to... Oh, go ahead. Oh, the ability to bestow powers or jumpstart latent powers. That's the one that you've been waiting for. You have okay. some. I just hasn't had me given you yet. <laughs> okay. And uh, that goes against electric manipulation, ability to control, generate, absorb electricity, electric phenomena. First of all, power bestow is bad. Yeah. Because if that's your superpower. Yeah, but we're also assuming we're in a world where everybody or a lot of people have superpowers or powers. Yeah, but then you could sell your sell sell your power, but bestow abilities. Actually, I guess that's true. But what powers could you bestow? Ability to bestow <laughs> powers or jumpstart latent powers? Could, could I just bestow like... to myself? <laughs> yeah, can I have can something I... better than this, please? <laughs> <laughs> can I give myself? Can I give myself <laughs> omnipresence? <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, and I mean, electric manipulation is one of the elemental bending ones. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so cool. Electricity is one of the less good ones, though. But think about it. You're in class, you're a teacher, and you're just like, you know, kids, give, give me the, all the energy in your phones. You just can't use them right now. Yeah. Or you know, there's just something like that. Or, like, say you have a power outage, and you're like, I don't want this. And electricity come back. You can blame it all you could, on me. Because if you were good enough at it, you could manipulate technology. Yeah. That's true. No, electric manipulation. Better. No, oh, better than power we're still. Oh, 100%. 100%, yeah. We'll go into, like, the nitty-gritty when it has a real challenge. Yeah, I mean, the power stall is just not good. Yeah. Nobody wants Nobody wants to have a superpower to give other people superpowers. Like, no. sorry. Unless, unless I don't want to be the only non-superpowered person in the superpowered world. <laughs> That'd be kind of sad. You'd literally be the worst person. I mean, unless everybody likes you because... You gave them superpowers, yeah. but then they'll probably be like, why would I care that you gave me superpowers? Now I can just do my own thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, next one. We have acid generation, which is the ability to generate acid can be manifested through touch or as a spray. Huh. Which is odd. And then energy sourcing, the ability to draw power from large or small but abundant sources of energy, such as turning kinetic energy into physical blasts of, or converting solar energy into other forms, sometimes based on proximity to the source, sometimes stored for future use. Energy sourcing. 100%. Oh, yeah. That's so good. Look, what am I going to use acid for? Oh, this door is getting in my way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're assuming you spit it as it comes out of your mouth exclusively. <laughs> Energy sourcing. Oh, let me just absorb the power yeah, of absorb the sun. and move power around. And it's then so just good. like, when I'm super charged up. <gasps> yeah, and and then like, if you want to use as a yeah. power thing. But like. Or I can just like take power from like. Well, even just to store it in your then, body. You can use it to get super strength. Yeah. Right? That's what I'm thinking. So good. Energy, energy sourcing. Yeah. Easy. Estrogen, okay, whatever. Next up. Do we have to? <laughs> this one Tom can't say. Claire Gustens. Claire Gustens, I think. Claire, Claire Gustens? Claire, Claire Gustens. It's interesting. The ability to perceive an ethereal substance without contact. Wow. 
can't say I know what that means. I'll be right back. I need it. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Continue. You can continue. I believe in you. No, we'll, we'll just do a quick cut. Uh, 47. Damn, we're already 47 minutes in. Yeah. We might not be able to get through the whole thing. I think we can. Even if we go a little long. Okay. Okay. All right. okay. Um, okay, clear distance. Yeah. I don't fully know what that even is. The ability to perceive an ethereal substance without contact. What do you consider an ethereal substance? Is it like ghost hunting? Yeah, but we already have the one that you can speak to them. Didn't see them with, through... Uh, and then this is going up against spiritual what? Invisibility? Mediumship. Yeah, invisibility. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. Like what? The, what is an ethereal substance? You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna look it up. You guys look up ethereal substance. Yeah. Substance. That's spelled super wrong. Whatever. What is the meaning of ethereal? It's something that is a light, airy, or heavenly. An example of ethereal is the voice of a person who seems to be whispering when talking. What? What? Is the voice? What's the, the meaning of ethereal? Can you do ethereal substance? It sounds very, like, ghost-like. Yeah. So, is it characterized by lightness and insubstantiality as impalpable, impalpable or intangible as air. Oh, so, yeah, it's ghost goo. So, it's, invisibility. So, invisibility, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like... Eh. Easy peasy. All right, next one. We have water breathing, which is pretty straightforward. Yep. Or duplication, temporal duplication. The ability to bring past and future versions of oneself back to the present. Duplication. Easy. Past Tom. Get your life together. Do, 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 <laughs> yeah, all right. Do, do, Don't do this ever again. Yeah, no. There you go. Fixed you. Versus future Tom. So, uh, bring what about past you? and future versions of oneself back to the present. So, yeah, so it could even be you from a couple seconds ago. Yeah. And it just... It's basically making more of yourself. That'd be pretty cool. You could support an entire team. Like, I, you could, I could you could be make an your army. entire soccer team. Or an army. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if I'd You gotta be careful with the army one, though. If your past you dies, I think the rest of you die. Just make sure oh, your future is your front line. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> just one day in the future where this, this imaginary war is gone, so you get pulled out of existence just to go die. <laughs> But then, after you win, you have a better future. Yeah, I don't like the fact... I say we ignore the temporal part, because bringing in time travel, which is really what the temporal part is, bringing future versions of you back and forth... Have, like, uh, have all this. Let's make it... You can make copies of yourself. No, I was thinking instead of that, we could just talk to ourselves from the past for a little bit, or the future for a little bit. That's kind of cool, too. That, either, either way... That makes more sense than, like, I'm pulling myself out of the future or past... This is good. You could have your own soccer team. <laughs> you're either going to be the most uh, cohesive team in the world, or you're going to be really, really, yeah. really, really uncohesive. <laughs> yeah, right. We don't know yet. <laughs> well, I'm cohesive. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're, you're all together. Um, but water breathing is cool. I'm, 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 okay, explain. <laughs> okay. Water breathing. You can breathe underwater. <laughs> Any kind of underwater research you needed to do, you'd never have to worry about drowning. You could be the best swimmer ever. And vulnerability. Okay. <laughs> and vulnerability, I think you can still die from drowning. Just because your body's not taking any damage, you still don't have any oxygen. True. Okay, that's fair. So nothing in you functions. So, like, drowning is, like, the exception to vulnerability in my eyes. Because you're not actually taking any physical harm. You're just, your body's just not getting what it needs. So your body's not going to create just, oxygen. Just wear oxygen masks. Well, yeah. Yeah. And then... All right. Duplication is cooler. <laughs> either, either, either sense of it, I think. Yeah. Either making more of you or just being able to talk to past versions of you. Or future versions as well. Or future versions of you. They're both really good. Right, next one, probability manipulation. Ability to alter probability, causing unlikely things to happen or likely things not to happen. You have Get my vote. Lucky. <laughs> yeah. You have my vote. Uh, versus superhuman speed. Or no, 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 no. No, plant manipulation, yep. sorry. Ability to create, control, manipulate or animal or plant life. Dude, we Which, have our terraforming superpowers all on this list. Well, you need to have more than one to do plant well, manipulation. We have superpowers everywhere. We can terraform any with anything. Well, yeah, but plant division not just for, like, terraforming. Well, now I want to Because you be. could, like, control plants. 
and plants. Yeah. Like poison ivy. Yeah, like just plant and person. I mean, probability manipulation. <laughs> I mean, uh, okay. It's uh, if you think about it, it's honestly kind of broken. Yeah. What are the odds that Eric spills his coffee all over his stuff? One hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> 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 the problem is just you being a dick the entire time. It's like, what about Eric spilling his coffee? Smack it. It's like, oh, it's 100%, isn't it? <laughs> what's, the, what's the probability that I can go through security without getting getting scanned or anything? Nah, it's 85% now. Yeah. No, or just like, you know. I mean, that one's really good. What's the probability that my stock's going to go up way sky high? Yeah, pretty good. <laughs> it's it's honestly the best one to make money. Oh, yeah. It's Easy. The, it's the best one to do a lot of things. Except for the, um, what was it? Uh, molecular manipulation. That's the best one to make money. Because you yeah. literally just make money. True. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I think probability manipulation has so many applications. Oh, yeah. It, absolutely. A lot of them are a lot of self- very selfish. Like but, things will always work. Oh yeah, no, no matter what you do, you're like okay, cool. Yeah, probability map. Nice. And now we have the last the last two of our thirty two power bracket. It's gonna be superhuman speed and aura reading. Speed's pretty straightforward. You're fast, but but you can also. Fly, re- wait, you have ability to move, run, fly, react, think, and sense at speeds much faster than a normal human. Those wait. with this excel- ability have an accelerated brain activity, which allows them to process sensory information so fast that everything's to be moving in slow motion while the user moves at normal speed. That makes more sense, I think. That is so good. Yeah, that versus aura manipulation, which is the ability to perceive energy fields surrounding people, places, and things. Yeah, that's just really bad, so speed's better, <laughs> right? Yeah, but like... Just in general sense. Yeah, but like to have everything moving faster, even like your brain, and be able to fly according to this, and like move, run, fly, react, think. Let's let's get rid of fly. But like okay. ability, every, every, if everything is moving slower, it seems like, and you just get to react faster too. Super reaction is what I'm thinking now. Yeah. Well, also mental reactions too. Yeah, but like that just seems yes really really good speed. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast with that. Oh, okay. please and thank you. All right, now we are in the group of 16. We have 16 left. We've cut half. We're going back to the beginning. All right. Well. Let's just get into it. We have energy construction versus elasticity. Oh, God, this is going to get hard, isn't it? (laughs) It's going to start to get real hard. Because some of these were tough to begin with, but they're going to get, like, A lot harder because some of them, because we got rid of, like, the kind of janky ones. Immediately for this one, I think energy construction is better. Oh, yeah. Just I because mean, it goes on, it's, it's almost as good as molecular manipulation because you can just pull energy and make stuff out of it. Yes. Which is super nice. In elasticity, you're just flexible. Like really, yeah, really you're flexible. flexible. You can, you you can be climb, super you good can... in bed. <laughs> but <laughs> energy, you can just make stuff. No, I mean, I, pref- I think that being able to make things is a lot more. Yeah, useful. I've always seen. Elasticity is kind of a subpar superpower. I mean, it's really it? cool. Don't yeah. get me wrong, but it, it, it is very variable. Not very variable. Very um, versatile. Yeah. Um, but being able to make things is always just so much better. It's it's so good. Like just being able to pull energy out and make stuff out of it is so good. Yeah. I think we just uh, like I I don't see an argument for elasticity. I mean, elasticity is really cool. Yeah, I mean, if but you're not going to have anything else... it's not as good. It's better than psychic weaponry, apparently. <laughs> I mean, I don't like psychic weaponry. No, I don't, I don't like psychic weaponry anyway. It's it's so one-dimensional. Yeah. Um, so yeah, energy construction. Now we're getting to the real game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We have hydrokinesis versus spiritual mediumship. Again, this one seems easier than it should be. Like, hydrokinesis is so good. But spiritual medium shit. <laughs> you can talk to dead people, yay. I can make water do anything and also create it out of nowhere. But I can talk to the past and just determine what, and make, be the greatest historian ever. Figure out what went wrong and fix it. Well, I can awesome. solve all the crimes. You could solve some of the crimes. 
Mine's don't involve dead people. I right, but which crimes don't involve? Which good crimes don't involve dead people? A lot. Like what? Like <laughs> I mean, anything that's not murder. <laughs> And what happens if the ghosts see what happens? Well, okay, I guess if you've got, like, an army of ghosts watching everybody. Imagine having an army of ghosts Imagine watching Imagine being able to make water. <laughs> Imagine, and move water. Imagine being able to be omnipresent through speed and meter. <laughs> <laughs> I think spiritual mediumship was, like, because, in my mind anyway, it's so difficult to, like, you got to either... Be interacting with the body or something like very close related to them. Like, you can't just like pull spirits out of nowhere. And be like, no, oh, true. What, what happened here? But if they're already there, like just walking but along this. Also, spiritual world. mediumship, like imagine if the it's, spe- it's, it's 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 really good. It's area. so vague because it's like okay, what? How long does the spirit last? Where does the spirit go? Like, how can you access them? What do they know? Are they even sane? Those are very all good questions. But hydrokinesis, it's like, oh, here's some water. I'm doing anything I want with it. Oh, you don't have water? I can make some water. (laughs) I can solve so many mysteries about the world. How the pyramids were created. Were there actually aliens? Aliens, my dude! (laughs) Aliens. (laughs) What What was Cleopatra like? How beautiful was Helen? No one cares. Uh I think that's up for a debate. And it is you'd a debate. Rather, you'd rather know how what Cleopatra was thinking hundreds of years ago than be able to manipulate water. Actually, thousands of years that ago. <laughs> You're in the now, man. <laughs> I'm in 2020 because of my omnipresence with everything. They're not omnipresent. <laughs> There's no spirits from 2020 wandering around here. Not yet. Not yet. In 2020, there will be. <laughs> Imagine being able to talk to Albert Einstein and talk about his spirit of relativity. Like, I barely liked spiritual mediumship over fire breath. Like, that's... What? That's how bad it was. It was so good over fire breath. How, like, the only thing you're going to use it for is to, like, solve murder mysteries. And be a historian. And but, go on adventures. But, like, can you even, like, get the spirits of people who are long dead? Assumingly. You gotta do something. <laughs> it's vague, so I assume you can. It's so very vague. <laughs> you, you gotta do some chanting, you gotta have some, like, little, some little altar to them. You know, just the little things. Seems fair. I don't know. I guess so, but, like, I don't like it. Okay, how about this? We just call it omnipresence version two. Omnipresence V two. Well, because you wouldn't, because like even to be able to pull, like, say you want Cleopatra, how are you going to access her body to pull her spirit? She probably has like a pyramid dedicated to her tomb. But where? In Egypt. I'd have to be really good at languages. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I didn't even think of that. You'd have to know every language. Like, just, to like do things like that. I'd be really, I'd be really good at speaking to people in foreign countries. Wow, that's double downing right there. Wait, no one. You, should, you can learn another language regardless <laughs> if you have spiritual in, uh, mediumship. It gives me more incentive. Goddamn it! <laughs> Fine, hydrokinesis. Wait, that's what I thought. <laughs> But I, but I would still pick spiritual medium, mediumship to be different. Okay. I'm not going to, though. Cause what is, what right. is this one? This is Omnipresence. Omnipresence. <laughs> <Air Manipulation. laughs> it's so good. Omnipresence. <laughs> <laughs> Give me an argument. Omnipresence. You lose. <laughs> I know everything, Eric. What do you want? Yeah, to literally be able to know everything. <laughs> it's It's stupid. Air and women manipulation. Well, because omnipresence isn't it's you would present know, anywhere and everywhere. It's you're not, every, you don't know undiscovered things. You're everywhere. You're everywhere. You don't. There's nothing unknown to you anymore. Yeah. Well, except for the unknown. Why would you not know? Because no one's discovered it unless you discover it. You're everywhere. 
That's true. You're literally all <laughs> over the galaxy. You're over the universe. You're, yeah. You're literally everywhere. Can we, can we, can we, it's stupid. <laughs> it's so good. Can we just change that for like the astral thing? Which was the astral one? The one where you could get out of your consciousness to go around. Okay. Yeah, that, that seems more fair. I'm going to declare right now, if we let Omnipresence through, it wins everything. Because it's literally your god. Yeah. So no, that, that'd just be the winner. There's... Yeah, there's no question about it. So everybody listening, Omnipresence is super busted. <laughs> we didn't realize it. I'm sorry. <laughs> Omnipresence wins. Just throw everything out. All right. <laughs> and that's going to be astral projection. Yes. Okay. That's fair. And now we can now we can have a real Which argument. loses to Aaron Wind, I think. What? Yes. No. Being the greatest spy in the world. Come on. You're the greatest spy. You could I could be sitting here. Could would I be able to talk? No. Probably not. Okay, fine. Then I can be like, okay, you guys want to hear you, Eric, you talk for five minutes. I'm gonna go see what's going on in the White House. Go to the White House and then be like, oh, well, great. Still I have the greatest podcast the ever. House. I have the no, I can fly. You don't know how it works. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming it's like you're just moving out of your body. You still have to move places. You can't I, I assume you can go faster than normal. I don't think so. Oh, what? You just pull... Well, what, what do we want to do? Use my astral, astral car? The, I don't have an astral car. I ability to voluntarily project the astral body of being associated with out-of-body experiences. Out-of-body experiences. Separate. No, it doesn't say it gives you any special abilities to move around. You're still just you, but you're just invisible in a ghost. Fine, I'd say... Sure, you can float, but you can't... You can not, it's like super I, fast. I, you don't have super speed. That's a different one. <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd say give me five minutes. Let me go to DC. Come back in an hour. No, you, give you a couple weeks to get to DC because you got to walk. Because you can't drive a car if you're a ghost. Would I ever get hungry? I mean, your body would. That's your true. body's still going to die. You, would you feed me? No. Why? Because I want Aaron Wind power to win. <laughs> Why you mean to me like this? <laughs> okay, fine. I can do cool things too with my astral. Projection. I mean, you're limited to like how long your body can survive. True. I mean, sure, you can like drive to DC, but how pick would up you a hotel? Drive? Oh like, yeah, yeah. You'd, you'd be really good at getting out. launch codes. What? I mean, yeah, launch you'd, codes. You'd be a great spy. I, that's why no I would like that. But I think in the like general practicality setting. of the world. Fine! Air and wind manipulation is just better. Fine! Fine. It's like, because what else are you going to use it for besides spying on people? Nothing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nothing. It's, That'd be really cool. It's like fire breathing. It's like, oh, I could kick your ass in a fight, but that's all I can use it for. Yeah. But I mean, you could also get test answers by spying on the test answers. Yeah, it's one of the, it's, it's spying. It's, it's specifically for spying. It's like, in the context of this debate i think no air and the yeah. ability to manipulate air just has so many more uses yeah no in context yes this would win but in my heart yeah in your heart points. it'd be cool to have yeah <laughs> okay that's fair that's fair like in my heart i want to be able to breathe fire 100 percent. i'm like that's so cool let me do it but action projection is so much more versatile Astral than that is more versatile than that yeah but again Breathing fire would be really badass. <laughs> really cool, yeah. <laughs> All right. We have... Omnipresence. <clears throat> no, we have molecular ma ma manipulation. Molecular manipulation. It's okay. Talking is hard. <laughs> it's a struggle, honestly. Versus psychic surgery. You know, I feel like molecular manipulation wins because you can do the same thing Yeah, because you surgery. can do the psychic surgery just by... Manipulating molecules. And you can also do everything else with it. You can just make anything. Yeah. Like, we've gone over molecular manipulation. Like, it's just... It's just... It's strong AF. Objectively better than psychic surgery. Yeah. Psychic surgery, super dope. But when you can do it, plus more, it's just... Yeah. Like... You might not be able to do everything with molecular manipulation that you can do with psychic surgery, but you have outside applications. From yeah, you have more applications to than just doing surgery. Yeah. Yeah. So we got that done. All right. We have... This one is kind of an interesting, this next one. Super strength versus invulnerability. Mm. These are ones you, like, always see paired together. Yeah. So it's like, now you got to choose which of the two is really better. What do you think? I think... My first instinct is the strength. Yeah. Because the invulnerability requires you to need... Requires you to have a situation where you would need to be invulnerable. 
That's true. Like, how frequently in your day to day life do you run into things that are going to kill you? Clearly not. What? what you, <laughs> any in twenty three years? But if you do, like you could, you would force the issue more. I think. Yeah, you could put yourself in those situations and not have to worry about it. Yeah. No, I think I think not, invulnerability would be cooler to like explore and to like just live a life of like and of doing crazy fun things like skydiving without a parachute. That's true. Once you, or twice. You'd have so much more fun if you were invulnerable. I'd have a lot of fun. You'd have a lot of fun because you could do anything and not care. The strength. No, I'm gonna go with the vulnerability. Like strength, you're strong. You can push things. You can you can lift things. You can you can be great construction. You can do a lot of things. But on vulnerability, yeah, but a lot of those things we can do with like technology anyway. Yeah, but in vulnerability. The imagine just like so cool. imagine just like oh, I want to climb this mountain. It's really cold up there. Eh, it's whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Oh, I want to jump down from the mountain afterwards. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I I I, I agree. In vulnerability is better. Having them both together, though, and be Superman, that's the real trick. But can you fly? Dun, 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 dun. Flying. Flying is honestly... One of the it, coolest ones. One of the cool... And maybe not the most practical, but, but it's, it's cool. one of the coolest. Like, being able to fly would be incredible. Yeah. Invulnerability. It's not enough letters. Whatever. All right. Next one. We have... What is it? Electric manipulation ah, yes. versus energy sourcing. Or what was it? Yeah, energy sourcing, I suppose. Hmm. So do you want to be able to control computers and electricity versus being Drawing. able to have so much Oh, yeah, that's just one of the draw and store power and stuff. Yeah. That's a, that's a tough one. That is tough because manipulating electricity, you are basically manipulating pure energy. Yeah. Because electricity is just energy light in a and... Form. No, I don't know. It's just light and heat energy, essentially, is what electricity is. Could you create electricity with energy sourcing? Because you can turn solar energy into electricity. So just turning kinetic energy into physical blast and converting solar energy into other forms. Yeah, so you could really just create... I think energy sourcing, you could create electricity. Yes. And manipulate it. Uh, to a lesser extent, but I, yes, I believe so. Because yeah, energy sourcing isn't manipulating it, it's... You're drawing it and storing it or turning it into other forms of energy, but you're not manipulating it. Like, I couldn't say, I couldn't make a lightning bolt come from a, across the room. No. I could turn the solar energy into electricity. Yeah. But, but I, I, th I don't think you'd have the fine control of it. No, it's just more like blasts, I think. Yeah, you're more of a battery. It's like if you were to discharge that energy, it just it goes as wild. How much how, much how much energy could you store at once and release at once? That like that's a good question right there. Because if if you what and how quickly it depends. Yeah, like if it's not quick, I feel like power, uh, energy, electric manipulation is a lot stronger. Yeah, because the energy sourcing is because even if you could store like you'd be limited obviously as to what you could store because your body can only handle so much energy. Otherwise, you'd explode. But you'd always be awake. You'd be wool. You'd be. Oh yeah, you never have to. I didn't even think of that. You never have to sleep with energy sourcing. You'd be. And you never AF. have to eat either. You just you gain a third of your life back. Yeah, I did. That's so good. I like that a lot. Yeah. No. Be before you said that, I think it was just going to go electric manipulation. Yeah, but, but like, you'd be so much more productive. That's what I'm thinking. You'd never have to sleep. You'd never have to eat. So energy sourcing? Energy sourcing. Because yeah, electric manipulation, yeah, it's cool. It's cool, but, but, now, like, but now you're just, like, doing whatever. Yeah. Like, in a practical sense, having another 12 hours or 8 hours of your day. You think I only sleep 8 hours. <laughs> 16 hours of your day. Man. But, yeah, no, that, that's incredible. Because you could also do it with other people. Because you can... You can give people you other can give power. people energy. And if you really felt like it, if you're in, like, a sports competition, you're, like, just fatigue them yeah if you want to just cheat i mean it's not cheating it's superpowers <laughs> <laughs> come on but no energy sourcing like before we begin with that that's really good yeah i like that a lot all right next up we have invisibility versus duplication which which duplication do we decide on let's do it you can make both of yourselves because that's really kind of what comes to mind that's fair how many so are they the same size as you yeah it's just another one of you 
I also like invisibility. Not a great superpower. No, it's it's cool to spy. It's 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 the it's the pervert superpower. Let's just be honest. Yeah, it's like it you're, really you're using is. invisibility to spy, spy on, on people, people again, but which like, is just the worst astral projection. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> well, so, to hear. But duplication has so many applications because if you need a team of people to do something, you it's you've all you got a team of people at the your beck and call. Would you would you guys would would you would you fight with yourself or no? This is just a personal question. I mean, no, probably not. Because you, you'd, you'd both want the same exact thing. Oh. I'm, I'm assuming it's not like another intellectual version of you. It's like it has all of your capabilities, but it's like you're, you're still calling the shots. I'd, I'd like to think that it was just different versions of me being all intelligent. <laughs> that might not be the best idea, yeah. but it'd be, it'd be pretty cool. Yeah. Just but, like having a conversation with yourself, with yourself. That'd be interesting. Like, you can make a weird you, podcast. Yeah. Or like convince people it's your twin. <laughs> this is my twin that I've never had before, but now exists. Be oh, really this is our triplet. Now quadruplets. <laughs> Why are there hundreds of yeah, hundreds? But of duplication is just straight better than invisibility. Yeah, because you can be in two places at once. Unless you uh, wanna, you know, do some uh... stroke out with your eyes. Is that what you were doing there? <laughs> I was to work on your this, wing game. That was a duplication. <laughs> to see that. <laughs> you know what do we have next? All right, we have probability manipulation <laughs> and speed. Okay, that's okay. a tough one. That is so hard. Like, all right, what are you using probability manipulation for? Everything. You're making money and making sure things happen when you want them to. Like, even it, it could be useful for anything. If you're playing, if you're say you're playing video games and you're like, okay, this guy's beating me. I want him to sneeze so we can't see what's going on. What is the probability of that happening? Really freaking high now. And then he sneezes and you're like, ha, you can't do that anymore. Or you're like, I don't oh. think you could do it like over a distance that you can't like perceive someone. True. I mean, fair. Like, I think you'd have to be interacting with it in some sense. Or you're like, uh, what's the probability that it's going to rain tomorrow in this location? Not very high. I hope not. C kind of control the weather. It'd really be like... How much can you actually control? Because controlling the weather... It's a probability like, thing. I can see that. <laughs> no, but it's not. It's like, it's either going to rain or it's not going to rain. It's very scientific. We're not, it's not scientific anymore with superpowers involved. <laughs> I guess so. But, like, being able to control things like that, I feel like, would be out of its scope. It, okay, what would, what would the scope be? Because superhuman speed, being able to react and, like, just... Everything going in slow mo for you seems absurdly strong. That's so yeah. Superhuman speed, the way they have it, especially written here, is so good because your mind's also faster than everything else. Yes, and you perceive everything. Like I would, I would just know what's happening just by being there for like five seconds. Yeah, your, your like observational skills would be so much better than everybody else's. Yeah, and I mean the probability manipulation. Yeah, it depends like, what you. Can I feel do. like you can't just make things that wouldn't happen happen. Would it be? Would you be like like as lucky as the girl from that Deadpool movie, Deadpool two? Because everything just went her way. Oh yeah. Like, would it be like that? I don't know. I really don't, I don't know. know. Because like, I you could like make the probability of a car crashing through this wall happen because there's no cars driving in the area. Like, I don't think you'd be able to make a car teleport here and crash through a wall. No, but there could be a really drunk driver because the probability is... There's, there's a chance that it could happen. There's a chance everything could happen, is the thing. I guess so. That's, like, the basis of it. There's a chance that everything could happen. There's no chance George Washington is going to walk through this door. Like, could you make that happen? Because the uh, probability no. is literally zero. A, George Washington could walk through that door. <laughs> <laughs> But the George, the George Washington that you and I are thinking of, no. Odds are probably causing unlikely things to happen or likely things not to happen. Because the way it's worded is unlikely and likely, not... You can't make things that won't happen happen. If there's a 0% like, chance, because uh, say somebody's dead? Yeah, like if there's actually a 0% chance of it happening. But there's, but there's like the chances that are like, there's a 30% chance you'll make it through Sunday because you have like a terminal illness. That thirty percent chance goes higher to like eighty percent chance of you not dying. Yeah, and can you make it always a hundred percent? That that is a good question. That I don't know. I'd assume I'd assume that it means a hundred percent to zero percent. Zero percent. 
I personally, personally, superhuman speed just seems so much more it's, useful. Yeah, it does seem more useful. Because you're just like I understand what's going on at all times and I mm-hmm. can process everything and I can just And you just get things done faster. Yeah, and you're so fu- and you're so focused. This is why S- Superman is so busted. He has the super speed. He has the invulnerability and the strength and he can also fly. And shoot lasers out of his eyes. He's a busted superhero. Yeah. No. Yeah, right? That guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I'm going with speed. I think, uh, yeah. Yeah, like, probably manipulation would be cool, but I feel like you don't earn anything. Super speed, you're just like, everything is at my fingertips. Yeah, it's like you can do so much. All right, we're down to the final eight. <laughs> quarterfinals. No. Not quarterfinals. Quarter. Oh. Quarter. So then se- quarter, semi. Oh, yeah, it's quarterfinals. Yeah, quarterfinals. No, we know what's going on. All right, we've got... Energy constructs, I'm assuming. Energy construction versus hydrokinesis. Oh, God. See, hydrokinesis is probably the best of the kinesis, the one. kinesis ones that we have here. Because what we have left, we have hydrokinesis and, and air manipulation. Yeah, because we got rid of electrical because we didn't, we didn't want to sleep. Yeah, because we didn't <laughs> want to have to sleep. Um, um, this is a tough one. Because energy construction, you can make literally anything you want out of energy. But how you... complex shapes. You can make... Oh, gosh. Um, you could make an invisible layer, kind of. Yeah. Assume... Because, like, it's... it's. I feel like it's just, like, everything is solid, even if you might not be able to see it. No, I see you can use pure energy to make stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't know what, what you... <laughs> I feel like... I don't know. I feel like my mind is not... I'm not thinking about all the possibilities I can do. Because it's not so obvious as, like, water. Yeah, it's one of those things. It's so broad. You can do so much. And, and hydrokinesis is just you can control and do things with water. Which is more... Like, the energy construction, you can make anything... But it doesn't. But once it's made, it's just an object that you're using. It doesn't mean you can make things that don't exist. But the hydrokinesis, it's like you have full control over water, which means you can really do a lot with it. Yeah, and it's just more. Not. It's less abstract in my mind too. Yeah. Because I'm like, I know what I can do with controlling water. That's very obvious. Yeah, but I mean, the energy being able to make anything at energy construction. I feel like with energy construction, though, you would need to understand how it functions to make it. Yeah. Because it's not just going to, like, oh, I want to make a photon blaster like that I have there. But I don't know what a photon blaster does. It's just going to appear. I feel like you would need to really have a deep understanding of what you're making. Yeah. Right? But it'd be cool. It would be super cool. I don't know. I don't know, man. I th- okay. It Say you had some general knowledge. I feel like being able to create things is just stronger, though. Yeah. Having the ability to control water, really cool. Really good. Really, really good. But. Energy constructs. Yeah, but you make It's, it's, I, I honestly think energy construction is better. Yeah. It's a tough one. Mm-hmm. It's like, it's very close, because the applications you can do with the water, just being able to, like, you know, tsunami about to strike. Okay, boys, I got this. Yeah. Or, like. Or like you're in the desert and you need water. Okay. Yeah. Or even just using it to do things. Because if you have pure... Man- it's like total control over it, you can just use it to do some stuff. Make a new um, hydroelectric plant. By by damming it up, people can do construction. Yeah. Like opening up to the bottom of the sea if you really could. If, you, if that was like within your power. Yeah. Like there'd be so much you could do. But I think the ability to make anything is really, really good. Yeah. Because you're just turning energy into stuff. It's like it's like Full Metal Alchemist Alchemy going on. I feel like it's more of the um, molecular controlling. That's more Full Metal, Full Metal Alchemist. No, because they never like... I guess so. I feel like that's more yeah, of what it is. Yeah, yeah. This one, I, I just don't know what it is. It's like my big thing. It's like, you can make things, which... But what what are they made out of? That's true. You're not turning things into other things. Yeah, because if you're, let's say, like, what energy are you pulling? Like, are you creating? 
I think it'd be whatever energy you used is what it will come out as. Like, you can't turn whatever energy is stored into this wood into steel. Right? No. You shouldn't be able to. But then it's just, like, molecular. Yeah, but, like, what could you turn heat into? Because heat's energy. Would you be able to turn the heat? It's actually out of solid energy. So does it require, like, the base... Because what do they what do they mean solid energy? I don't know. I, I was assuming that you like take the energy out of the air, and it becomes solidified. Is what I, is what my yeah. imagination was telling me to do. Well, because then if you're just standing out in the open and the sun's out, you can make anything because there's solar energy in the air. There's heat energy. There's light energy. True. Then that's just better than the wind's blowing. You've got a ton of kinetic energy. It's it's hard to really understand like what it would involve and what you could do with it. Yeah, no, it, it's just I don't know what it could do. If I knew what it could do, I would say 100% that's stronger because being able to make things is always strong. Mm -hmm. In making anything. I think in general it's better than hydrokinesis. Yeah. Just because it's so much more versatile and you can, you can really do it. Like there's, you can get more creative with it is what I'm trying to say. Yes, creativity is key. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think it yeah, just I'm wins, gonna... even though I don't fully understand it. It just, it just by the way it sounds, a lot stronger. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with it. All right. Omnipresence. This, this next one is easy. We have air and wind manipulation or molecular manipulation. Molecular manipulation. It's you can just do it with straight the better. <laughs> Look at that. We have a winner. <laughs> That's molecular manipulation so good. Yeah. And now oh. we have invulnerability versus energy sourcing. Oh, I don't... <laughs> energy sourcing so good. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> but then you can't do really fun things. But you can do more things. You could because you're always woke. You're all... You're so woke. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you going to try to die? Probably not very often. Takes a lot of money and effort. Yeah. To go try to die. Oh, dude, think about it. If you're skydiving, you can just be like, "Oh, look at all this potential kinetic energy. I'm just gonna turn this into a nice, cushy landing mm -hmm. ground, or like push down. So then you're like, you let you're going super fast. You're like, uh, kinetic energy turn into potential and like back into kinetic energy going in the opposite direction. So I just like take a little bounce up. Ah, I'm good. Yeah. No, yeah. Energy no. sourcing. Just energy so sourcing. Good. Energy sourcing. I'm all, I'm all, I'm what I'm seeing as a pattern from this is the things that have more, like, deep level control are better. Yeah. Like, to be able to control energy molecules that's, like, deep level things opens up so many more options. And that, that involves creativity and, like, the general skill of your power. Yeah. Yeah, no. Yeah, no, it's really good. Really, really good. All right, last one, we have duplication versus speed. This one's tough. Mmm. I personally like speed, just because the mi the mind thing is like the one that yeah, gets being to able me. To process things faster. Yeah, but the duplication, it's you can do so much with it. Yeah, you don't. You never need friends anymore. What, what am I doing you? with you? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> what am I doing with friends if I have myself over and over again? But just think of the real world application of it. Speed, yeah, you can get place fast, but you're also not invulnerable, so you're gonna hurt yourself. I mean, you to, you don't you don't have to go super fast. Yeah, yeah. And you can think fast. But also, if there's two of you, there's two of you thinking. But, but we, we were discussing this. Yeah, like you're, you're, you're kind of the, like, in charge one. Yeah. But also, but if you're... I mean, that one depends. If, it, again, if... Sorry. <laughs> you okay there? <laughs> <laughs> if... <laughs> what time is it? I hope you guys heard that. He just farted so loud. <laughs> Cut that out. <laughs> what time was it? Yeah, one twenty six fart. Thank you. Can that be a blooper? Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I like duplication. Uh, Wait. What do you mean? I'm sorry. I don't know. I don't know if which one I like better. Okay. The thing is, if you if you're able to, if they're intelligent beings and you can speak to them like they're intelligent. I think duplication would be strong. Yeah. But if you can't, then it's like, it's really good. Maybe not as strong, though. 
Because if you're yeah. like, okay, I need you to read the history book, I need you to read this book, and I need you to read this book, and then we can then we discuss our ideas together. Or even better, you do you have five people reading five different books, and you pull them all into your body, and then you know everything that was in all five of those books. That, you see, that'd be, that'd be really, 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 really So strong. it really depends on how intelligent the duplicates are. Yeah, and what and what you can do with that knowledge once they have it. Yeah. Because if that's true, you that's so good. Yeah. No, that'd be really Because you really could just compound knowledge. You can also see how good you are at things from, mm-hmm. like, an objective perspective. Objectively, you could, like... Like, like think from about From a skill-based thing, if you're trying to get better at something, playing against yourself, like if it's a game or whatever, playing against yourself, you're going to get better. Yeah. And if you're like, let me try this new hairstyle out, and you're like, do it. Instead of, like, looking in the mirror, you're like... Because looking in the mirror, it doesn't feel like you get yeah, the Yeah, you full... can actually, like, see. Yeah. I like duplication better. That like that after that right there that's that makes it so good, but dude. Superhuman speed, being able to just like react on the fly. It's like the the being physically fast. That that doesn't impress me. I don't much. like that. I don't. It's it's not it's, a great superpower. But everything around you is just going. It's like say it's, yeah. It's the being speed. able to perceive things and know things. That that's the big fast. thing for me. That's that's huge. But think me. though, you can if there's two of you, you're literally doubling your speed of not of. Of knowledge. of knowledge, but like, say you're in a conversation, and then somebody, and you're trying to think, and somebody says something, and you're like, "I have so much time to be witty. Let me think about this thing." Okay, I thought about this. That wouldn't be that'd be stupid funny, but this would be smart funny. This would be crazy funny. Wait, time out. I need to th- say something. Oh wait, it's only been two seconds. It's only been half a second. <laughs> <laughs> like, just imagine that. Yeah, I don't know. Or like when you're reading, you're just like, read that line. Hey, that page is done. That page is done. That's true. You could read faster. Like, oh. I have my, just be, but I think like duplication. You'd be able because the gathering of information. I'm assuming you'd be close to the same speed, depending on how many copies you made. Yeah, because but if you, you could, could, make if you could read ten want. times as fast as you can read now, you need ten copies to make like that equivalent. But of once you make eleven copies, once you make eleven copies, is better. And also, from a physical standpoint, you could do more things because you have more people. That is fair. It's much easier to do things as a team than it is by yourself. Even if you can do it fast. No, you're right. I'm sorry, Super Speed. Yeah, I like duplication better. Super Speed is a close it's, second. It's, my it's, it's solid, strong. but duplication. Yeah. It's just, it has so many applications. It's just, it's so broad. You can do so much with it. The Final Four. Final Four. The Final Four. Let's chop. We chopped a lot. We have <laughs> energy construction versus molecular manipulation, and now we have just molecular manipulation because it's just better energy construction. It's purely better because you can do everything you can do in energy construction with molecular manipulation, and you can also do more. Freeze. Yeah, let's just do it. In molecular manipulation. Let's go into the finals. And then we have energy sourcing versus duplication. This is a hard one. Do you want to be woke all the time? Or do woke you want to all the time, but you can also even if you have an extra eight hours every day, you make two of you, you get more done. Yeah. What how many hours a day are you awake? Assuming the eight hour thing. Twelve hours. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sixteen hours. Sixteen. <laughs> it's that on the fly math. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. Oh when you sleep, you it's only twenty hours in a day, right? No, it's it's sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. Double that to thirty-two hours. Yeah. So if there's two of you, you're getting more done than if you're not sleeping. Duplication. Yeah. Just, just give it duplication. Because energy sourcing could also store energy and use it. But you can also take people's energy. But if there's a bunch of you, you don't need to take people's energy. You don't need to take people's energy. <sighs> Duplication seems super strong. It's now. so good. It seems it's a lot so stronger than I, good. Originally, I was like, "Oh, it's duplication, whatever." Well, it's, it's, it's the power of always having a team of people. Yeah, no, that is fair. I didn't think it was gonna be that strong until mm-hmm. you know we discussed it like this. It's like you know, even the simplest things, like, "Oh, I'm measuring this. I need someone to hold the other end of my tape measure." It's like, "Bloop, go do that." For How me. many times wide is this? One, two, three. <laughs> yeah, <four. right. laughs> yeah I, I like duplication over energy sourcing. Yeah. It's co- energy sourcing, though, is super cool. That's one of the favorite ones I've d- discovered for the day. Is that's so cool. It's really cool. Yeah. They duplications. Okay. 
See, this it doesn't even feel like a contest in Final Two. No. Macular manipulation is so good. Versus omnipresence. <laughs> Honestly, though, okay, okay. So if I were to compare molecular manipulation and omnipresence, it would be a tough choice. That would be a tough choice. Okay, let's. Okay, we know, we discuss, we voted. Molecular manipulation beats it. It's it's so good. Molecular manipulation beats duplication. Now, omnipresence versus molecular molecular, molecular manipulation. Which one? It's like the more we talk about molecular molecular <laughs> manipulation, the harder it is to say. The harder it is to say. <laughs> first of all, <laughs> second of all, it just. There's so much you can do with it. Yes. You're not omnipresence though, you have so much more control over everything because And you're just knowledgeable of everything. Yes. Which I think is probably better. But there's less I mean, if you if you figure out how to like how like I'm trying to think of like the, the Einstein physics and like relative relativity of the world and stuff like that. Like you would be the greatest physician in the world. Not like physician, like physicist. People. Physicist. Physicist. There we go. <laughs> Got you. <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> yeah, but but like once you figure that out, can yeah, you, can omnipresence you not, can you, can is you not applied to everything at that point. Yeah, but I mean, real omnipresence, like what they have, it's like you you are everywhere and everything. But if if you are everywhere and you are everything, wouldn't you be able to decipher that and learn about it and then just contort yeah. your thoughts to how to f- know about it? That's what I'm thinking. You would have complete understanding of everything, really. Yeah. Like, omnipresence is just better. You just have to figure out how to apply it. That's the big thing. But, but you know how to apply it because you're omnipresent. Omnipresent just wins. Yeah, omnipresence, it's, 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 you were literally a god. Monocular manipulation, though, you are very close to a god. Yes. Because it's, it's very much like Full Metal Alchemist. Alchemy. Yeah. It's like, I got it. I made this thing. Great show, everybody. Should watch it. It's such a good Brotherhood? show. Brotherhood? Watch that. Brotherhood's better. Brotherhood, Brotherhood. Brotherhood's better. Yeah. I, th- I think we've we've got it. Manicular Manipulation is the winner of the first Superpower Showdown. Ba! 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 <laughs> ba! <laughs> All right, everybody. Ba, ba. It's been a long episode. Um, if any of you stuck around the entire time, thank you for listening. Yeah. But it's been a great episode. We're going to try to do more of these. I think it's a lot of fun. I thought it was a lot showdown. of fun. Yeah. It's kind of... Because, I mean, the next list will be completely different things. Like, or some of them could be like doubling up. Who cares? But they I think won't we should avoid doubling up on things. Yeah, true. We could do that. Should, it'll be completely new list of thirty-two, and then we'll have the top ones fight each other. That'd be cool. We have like a show and like top eight, or the top of we, like if we do eight episodes or whatever, it's like we have those, those top eight go against each other. That'd be cool. Yeah, we can make this whole series That'd be really cool. Well, next time we'll filter out things like omnipresence because it's. <laughs> it's so it's busted <laughs> we'll, we'll have to filter more aggressively but this we literally just what we did in multiple ways we wanted it to kind of be fresh and surprising to us as well as you yeah coming up with the arguments on the fly so and if any of you guys want to be like oh why did you guys i think that that choice over there was stupid compared to picking the other one yeah leave a comment tell us we're wrong yeah and explain why we're wrong or just tell me i'm right because i like being right because i'm omnipresent <laughs> alright thank you guys for watching um, please on uh, YouTube subscribe like leave a comment helps out a lot on iTunes Google Play like it subscribe follow us do all that share it with your friends share with me share with Tom thank you have share, a good one guys share this moment I love you <laughs> goodbye <laughs> goodbye <laughs>